So I met with a fun young couple last night to talk about their first home purchase. The topic that we really focused on is how much do they have saved, how much money do you need to purchase a home, and how you can save money or set aside that money to be able to do that sooner than you thought. So if that interests you, stay tuned to here. I'll also share a couple ways that they specifically are putting into play to really increase their savings for down payment and closing costs as soon as possible. So how much exactly do you need for down payment and for closing costs set aside? Now typically, the percentages that we use to calculate that is 3% of the purchase price is usually at the minimum what we would put down for a down payment. Now there's a whole other conversation about the types of loans that are available, conventional loan, FHA loan, um, and that, that I would love to connect you with a lender to give you all the details of that. But just to start out, about 3% at least for down payment. So let's say we're purchasing a home for $300,000, 3% of that is $9,000. And so that's for down payment. For closing costs, that's typically can run from anywhere three and a half to 4% of the purchase price. So that can be anywhere from 10 to $12,000. So that could be easily $20,000. If it's a lower priced home, you know, that adjusts accordingly and could be lower. Just to give you an idea of the figures. And so how do you save $20,000, right? Especially if you don't have any savings right now or you just have a couple thousand, how can you speed up that process to be in your new home and be a homeowner faster than you thought? So the couple that I met with last night, they are actually um, basically starting this month are going to start saving like crazy. They are speeding up their savings, setting aside $1,500 a month. Now, if you are a couple where both of you are working, it really is possible. You just really have to be strategic about where you put your money and maybe put a pause or put a hold on things that you normally spend on. But for them, they're able to set aside that much every month. And so they're looking at and calculating how many months they need to get to their goal. And so again, setting a goal is really critical because that way you know exactly how much every month and you have an amount that you can reach towards. And another way that they are considering in fast tracking the money that they need for down payment and closing costs is through borrowing from their 401k. They've been contributing towards that through their job and so there's a good chunk of money in there. And there's actually an opportunity to borrow your, from yourself in your 401k. Now you have to check with each of your employers and your 401k um, providers to see what the details of that is, but that is definitely an option that they are considering that could easily bring the amount that they need really quickly. And you would pay back your own loan of your own 401k um, in doing so. And so there's pros and cons. I would encourage you to look that up and see if that may be a fit for you, but that is another option and idea to consider. Hopefully this were helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you have questions about lending, I'd love to connect you with some great lenders that we work with. Talk to you soon.